everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review the Lakme 95 Compact. This is a new edition. It's the Primer Plus Matte Compact. And I'm also going to compare it with the original. So, in case you're interested, stay tuned. This is what the secondary packaging of the product looks like. It has a standard rose gold cardboard packaging of all 95 products. And when you open it, it looks like this. It has a very nice, very fine packaging. Uh, it has almost like a chromatic mirror-like finish. It maintains the rose gold theme of the 95 uh, range. And it looks really nice. You can actually see your face on the product. So it's really nice. However, after a few uses, it will be a hot mess of fingerprint marks and scratch marks so that is something you need to uh, keep in mind once you open the product this is what it looks like you get a decent mirror it's not a good mirror it's a very average mirror and you get the product over here and once you flip up the product you get a uh, sponge like so which now that i've shown you in the video i can very easily just throw it away because it's horrible it does not apply the product well it drags onto the skin it's latexy you are better off without that sponge, trust me. You do get 9 grams of product and it retails for 600 rupees. Lakme has added this primer component to its powder. So this means that it's more of a smoothening powder. And it, you do not need like an extra primer before you apply it. And it's called a powder foundation. So it will suffice as a primer, a compact and a foundation according to them. So as per the claims, it's supposed to be a multitasking primer foundation. And it will give you the coverage and the matte finish and conceals fine lines so it does claim to a lot of things which i right off the bat will tell you it feels in every department and i'll tell you how in a moment but before let's discuss the shade range so lacme has finally acknowledged that indian women come in more than three shades so they have launched not one not two not three but six shades six shades six shades Ellie Girl has 14 shades, Maybelline has 14 shades, L'Oreal has 12 shades and Lakme being the Indian brand has just 6 shades and they are so proud of it that we finally acknowledge deeper skin tones. And to be very honest, the deeper skin tones will not work for anybody who is beyond NC45. So Lakme is not encompassing all those beautiful women with deep, rich, golden, almost warm, caramelly tones because they do not think that such women exist probably, which is why they are not coming up with enough shades. Now that I am done with my rant, let's come on to the product. I have the shade Silky Golden, which is the fourth shade in the line. And I think it matches me, not perfectly, but it's very close to my skin tone. The actual product, when you actually feel it, is very, 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 very silky smooth. You can actually feel the dimeticones, the silicone in it, which is like, which gives your skin that actually silky look. I don't think it is any different than the texture of this powder, which is the original. If anything, this is more silky. I'm not even giving you, this is more silky. Um, so this uh, product retails for 425 rupees, which is the original matte compact from the 95 range. And this has 8 grams of product, so you will get 1 gram extra and you're paying 175 rupees extra. Also, it does not have the patent Lakme smell, so if you hate that smell like I do, then th this does not have that fragrance. So. Also, the packaging does not feel very, very sturdy. I think it feels a lot more fragile than the original. And one more thing is that the bottom has a bit of perforation, which indicates that you can use it wet. And once you put the wet sponge in it, it won't get moldy. But I've tried to use it both wet and dry. I have used this powder in so many ways and I have compared it to this powder in so many ways because this is my holy grail drugstore powder. It is my favorite powder to apply when I'm on the go. It stays in my bag. So I really wanted to know why it's like me making me pay 175 bucks extra for this product, which I don't know is maybe better than the one I already have, which is why I bought this one out of curiosity. And let me tell you right off the bat, there is absolutely no difference. I'm being 100% honest to you, there is absolutely no difference between the two powders. 
Now, the best way to apply this powder if you want to use it as setting powder is with a fluffy brush. I've used both the products with a fluffy brush and both provide me pretty much the same coverage when applied over a foundation. It sets the foundation really well but when applied with the fluffy brush all by itself it does not cover anything. So it just gives your skin a little bit of an even tone but it does not cover anything and since it says it is more of a priming powder I have noticed that it does smoothen out the uh, pores but it does nothing to like the fine lines or wrinkles which I have on my face there's absolutely nothing to those but it does smooth out the pores which I've noticed but this powder does exactly the same so whenever I have applied it wet I wet my buffing brush this one is from Real Techniques and I wet it with my Max Fix Plus and then applied it all over my face and in all honesty I hate the product when applied wet and I'll tell you why once the product dries up, once it, you know it loses the moisture of the Fix Plus or of the water which you've added to it, it grabs onto all the flawed areas of the face. So if you have any kind of dry patches, if you have acne, if you have texture, it will grab onto all those places and whenever you apply a powder product on top of it, so you say you're applying, so say you're applying a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, it will you know grab onto the texture in the most unsaturating manner i by no means will recommend using it wet because once it dries down it looks a little orangey and it grabs onto every little bit of texture which you i honestly think that the best way to use this product to its full potential as a foundation powder is to use it with a velour sponge this one is from pack you can buy it for 150 rupees but you can use any velour sponge and you can just dab onto the product and then dab onto the skin and that way it applies the product really really well in out the coverage with this product is supposed to provide with so if you want to use it as a foundation powder though I by no means it is a foundation powder if you compare it with the Estee Lauder foundation powder if you wear it, um, compare it with the MAC uh, powder if you compare it with the Revlon nearly naked powder this has a lot less coverage so if you like light to near medium coverage I think this is okay for you it is great for everyday use also it does not help with the oil control I have an oily free zone and it does not you know combat any kind of oiliness on my skin it is more of a mattifying product when you apply it and if you don't apply it with a foundation or a liquid product say a moisturizer underneath it will grab onto all the unflattering places on your face so even if you're using it as a foundation product as like a all in one product i would highly recommend that you use a moisturizer and a sunscreen underneath it because it does not have sunscreen as well in the end i would like to say that this product is not a fail it is a gimmicky product i think it does nothing extra than what this can do for me this is one of my favorite powders from the drugstore so from since this is no different than this i am by no means i'm saying that this is a bad powder it's just more expensive for no good reason at all so that is my final verdict on the latte 95 primer plus matte compact if you like this video please do take a moment and subscribe to my channel down below Click on the bell icon so that every time I put up a video, you get a notification and I put up two videos every week and subscription is absolutely free of course. So if you like me, if you like this video, do not forget to click on the subscribe button below and I will see you next time with my next video. Till then, I call it wrap for the day and I will see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye.